Hey, thanks for clicking on the video. If you're over 16, please ignore this brief disclaimer and continue on. However, due to my diction, the nature of the content that I sometimes cover, and copper regulations, this is where I'll have to ask us to part if you haven't reached this age benchmark just yet. That being said, let's get right into it. What's up Twitchlets, welcome back to another Demon Slayer reaction video. My name's Mr. Twitchy. Today I'll be covering chapter 194. Don't really have a long recap for 193. It was just the flashback of Tamayo and Shinobu working together to mix the poisons to age Muzan over 9,000 years. But, that being said, Tanjiro's trying to connect all 12 forms of the sun breathing consecutively, in a circle, repeatedly, all the way until dawn, which is 59 minutes away. Like I said, there's not really much more to say about last chapter. It was fantastic. I really want to get into this, so moving on to chapter 194. Chapter 194, Burn Scars. Yushiro, the couple of the other medical corps, running towards the battle. Oh, the cat. Is it starting to fade away? Or is it just... Ugh, oh, that's disturbing to look at. Did he just put it back together? <laughs> Thank goodness it's alright for now. Is that cat a demon too? Wow, I turned it into a demon right before the big battle. I love the derpy face on the cat at the bottom of page two, that's hysterical. I wonder if that's foreshadowing for turning the pillars into demons in order to finish off Muzan? I know that they've been afflicted by his cells, but I wonder if Yushiro's gonna use his cells, or again, Tamayo-san's cells, to turn them into demons so that they can regenerate and thus continue fighting Muzan. Just a working theory that I have that we're gonna have demon pillars coming up. Okay, so now I guess we're gonna be checking in with all the wounded people. Nosuke, Kanao, Himajima, Carnage, Carnage, Carnage. Even if he regains consciousness, blood loss and lack of equilibrium will make it impossible for him to fight. Demon Pillars? Himejima is down with over 50 minutes left until sunrise. There's no way that Tanjiro can last alone. Tamayo, please protect Tanjiro. Somehow you must. I'm begging you, as Yushiro is crying into a bloody palm. Ooh, page five, looking as saucy as ever with Gotoge's action shots. Tanjiro jumping around with this Muzan tumor on his face is incredible. I don't know how he's doing it. It isn't enough to just connect the forms. I must accurately target his hearts and brains. Yeah, you're just waiting out until he runs away from the sunlight whenever he realizes that it's getting closer to dawn. Concentrate harder. Enter the transparent world. Oh, Muzan cells are starting to get into his good eye. I can't see. I'm not getting enough oxygen. Calm down. Pinpoint him by smell. You'll last until dawn. It's all... Oh, he slipped. He might lose an arm here. Ooh, Obanai. So you're not dead. Saving him with the snake. Oh, I love page eight so much. Oh, the craters in the side of the building as they just missed hitting Tanjiro and Obanai. <laughs> Why won't you die? Someone saved me. That smell. My vision is returning. That pattern is Obanai. Oh. There's three slices across the top of his face and I think he lost sight or lost the use of both of his eyeballs. That panel is chilling. I wonder if he's using Yushiro's parchment papers to see, or if he's using the snakes to see, or if he's pulling a Tanjiro and trying to smell where everything's happening. I don't know, that's just speculation at this point. Damn. Trying to avoid Muzan while carrying an injured comrade is not easy. Okay, so he is using the snakes to see. I have Kaburamaru using his tongue to see as snakes tend to do. Ooh, Muzan climbing up with his tentacles, chasing after them. I love that shot. That That's reminiscent of Spider-Man right there. I separated Tanjiro and Obanai. I wonder if Obanai is gonna try to distract him and then get sliced in half. Muz, oh my God. Muzan destroyed the corner of that building with one of his main arms. Whew! 
That is so clean. Reminds me of uh, Langris from Black Clover, his magic, how he's just able to make things disappear. <gasps> Aerial battle, oh my god, this is so cool. I don't know if you can dodge that. Open eye cutting through with his snake form breathing. Is the snake relaying information to him? Is a dumb animal like that reading my attacks? Tanjiro getting pissed, coming in for a slash, I'm assuming. Oh no, that might be the end of Open eye. Oh, I love that panel too. Page 16, you have the fire dragon and the snake concurrently going after Muzan. Did he get there in time, though? Even if he trained in expectation of losing body parts, I should be able to kill a seriously wounded human being in an instant. It's the aging potion. I still haven't adapted, and recovering from it is sapping my strength. Good. Savar. This aerial flight is actually insane. Everyone's attacks have weakened Muzan. His scent is gradually changing, but he's still strong. It's all I can do to avoid oxygen deprivation, so I can't enter the transparent world. Enter the parchment papers. Even at two against one, this is hard. I have to break free of the situation, somehow. Obanai helped me many times, so I need to help him. What's that? Muzan's body is changing. Another form? Oh, he's starting to look like Sanemi with all of his scars. Is that the effects of the sun breathing or is I don't I don't know what this is. Are those scars? They look old. Oh, I get it. Yorichi made those wounds despite hundreds of years. Muzan never recovered. Yorichi burnt Muzan at a cellular level. That is badass as hell. My goodness. Those are Muzan's weak spots. Even now, Yorichi is showing us the way. Next chapter hits February 21st. Jesus. So glad I get an early chapter. That was incredible. The action in Demon Slayer always goes by so quickly. It feels like I'm reading a half or even a quarter of a chapter each time I read one. Whew. Heart's beating for this one. Okay. That being said, Nezuko still isn't on the battlefield. We're still waiting to see what's going on with some of the other pillars. Giyu, Sanemi, Kanroji, what she's up to. I'm not quite sure. Demon Slayer is hitting right now. I know some people have been kind of complaining about the pacing of this final arc or this final battle with Muzan. I don't really see that. I'm really enjoying it. Each chapter gets my heart racing, like I said earlier. And I think it's logical for him to have those scars from Yorichi that many years ago because he was comparing Tanjiro to Yorichi from the days of past. But with that being said, another excellent chapter from Demon Slayer. What else is new? My name's Mr. Twitchy. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.